play we'll play games that are like 10 to 30 minutes on this uh, this uh, series welcome to another drunken pawn half pipes I'm Steven there's basil and behind the camera we have Teresa <sighs> race isn't here today because yeah we fired him Mm -hmm. That's always going to be the joke. <laughs> Fired. No. He's just on a little, uh, what do you call it, a spagatical? Sabbatical? Sabbatical. Spagatical? Spaghettical. Spaghetti. He ate too much spaghetti and he can't be here with us. That would make, that would be... That would be something he would do. That probably. would 100% <laughs> be something that you he guys, would do. You guys, I can't come in today. I look, yesterday I ate too much spaghetti. And it, might, it might have been bad. It was sitting on my counter for two days. But I ate an entire pasta bowl of it. Yeah. I can't come today. Yep. I'm Either I'm that or have like cicadas or something in it. <laughs> That's alright. They're supposed yeah. to be edible. Yeah, they are. I mean, Pizza Bandit made that pizza. Yeah. So. yeah. With cicadas on it. But they yeah. were like, we don't even know if it's legal to serve this to you, so we can't make it available for everybody to eat. Yeah. But anyways, today, listen, we're not eating pizza, but we're eating a circular thing that you eat out of a circular vessel. What? This one's called <laughs> <laughs> Monster Crunch. It is uh, a General Mills product here. If you can see, that's all your favorite monster cereal, yeah. guys. Look. You got Count Chocula, you got Frankenberry, Boo Berry, Fruit Brute, and Yummy Mummy. It's the character you can play as. So have you eaten all of those? I've never had Yummy Mummy or Fruit Brute. I haven't had either of those either. Because they they only bring out Boo Berry, Frankenberry, and Count Chocula during Halloween anymore. Yeah. Uh, those were like during like the 80s and stuff. 70s oh, okay. and 80s. Yeah. yeah. I would like for them to bring it back out. I'd like to try them again. That'd be cool. But that it's cool that they're in the game. Yeah. Maybe um, in a tiny, tiny box situation where yeah. they made like little boxes of it and then you get the whole pack. Yeah, that'd be, yeah. Yeah. That'd be good. Try it. Um, but before we get to Monster Crunch, we gotta sink our teeth into. <laughs> what is it? What's, What's in the in sky? The sky? We got today is actually it's it's actually a pretty special one. Um, I got it from uh, local the Barrel House. They're from local here in Dayton. Um, they had a, a brew specially made for for them by Listerman Brewing Company from I believe they're from Cincinnati. Mm -hmm. um, it's called Cookies and Cream. Cat snakes rule everything around me. Which a cat snake, I guess, is a ferret. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's a pastry stout brewed with cookies, vanilla, cocoa powder, cocoa nibs, sea salt, and other natural flavors. That's what it, this is that today. This was brewed amazing. specifically for the Barrel House, which is a cool little spot downtown Dayton where you can chill and relax, non COVID times, which our mandates lifted. So, you can chill and relax. They have wine, they have beer. A lot of craft stuff. They have a lot of, of cool comfy stuff. sitting areas. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what yeah. They have a lot of Wu Tang. Yeah, yeah on Wu Tang Wednesdays. Wednesdays. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's uh, what they're famous for is Wu Tang Wednesdays. Yeah. yeah. Let me read this teeny tiny thing on here. Right, right. The Barrel House is a teeny tiny craft beer bar and bottle shop in Dayton, Ohio. We strive to curate the absolute best beer selection we can while maintaining a casual, unpretentious environment. We hope you enjoy this liquid love letter to our ferrets, Wu Tang, and cookies we made with our friends at Listerman as much as we do. Um, so I also do want to say that during the pandemic, like during the beginning of it, everything was shut down and then they reopened with super strict COVID protocols, made everybody feel really safe, limited the number of people that were in there. And they basically were like a craft beer lifeline to all of us poor mm -hmm. folks yeah, who couldn't go into sure. brew shops and stuff. They have an insane, <clears throat> insane selection of stuff in cans and bottles mm -hmm. and they have everything, um, also... <clears throat> Uh, single so you can try them out if you don't want to commit to a sixer and they have a really good non-alcoholic beer selection which for those of you who don't imbibe 
and it's pretty clutch. So yeah, which is can't really say cool. enough about mm -hmm. the Barrel House. They're awesome. So can't wait to get into this one because it was yeah. special. They only made so much of it, and I think it's gone now. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's gone, gone. So this is very special. Oh, okay. All right. We're not, we're not saving any for Maurice. Right. Sorry, Maurice. But this is... <laughs> wanted to do this for this one because it's kind of got a, a cereal vibe to it. Yeah. be the rest. All right. Oh, it smells good. Ooh. Interesting. Ooh. Might need a minute with this one. Ooh, it's thick. <laughs> Ooh, it tastes like chocolate. Ooh. Yeah. It it pretty much tastes like what it's yeah. supposed to. Cookies and cream. It, Cookies like, and cream, yeah. At first, it tastes like like the milk in Count Chocula. After oh, it you, does? Oh, my like, God. Like, after you eat the cereal, it 100% tastes like that. And then it has, Perfect. like, the cookies and cream afterwards. Oh, man. This is good stuff. Sorry, you can never have it. <laughs> <laughs> Salt in the wound. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I think they, may, they may do it again someday. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. I haven't been there in a while. They might they might still have some bottles left. I don't know. I don't know. They, it was on their like last chance shelf, I think, when we were there last time. Oh, uh, was it? Ooh, that, that is, is nice. Solid. Yeah, that, that is, is very good. nice. Good job, Listerman. That's like probably the third or fourth time we've had a Listerman on here. Yeah. <sighs> well, they're well, local Ohio. You know, we like Ohio. We like yeah. the, the beer that we make here. We make good beer here. And when you make good beers, you're just going to be on the show a lot. So, <laughs> yeah. so now move on to our next segment everybody who's anybody that grew up in the 80s all the way up to pr the present actually 70s I think this is when they started this the monster cereal knows the monster cereal they know Count Chocolate they know mm -hmm. Booberry they know F Frankenberry for sure because mm -hmm. that comes out every year down th around Halloween um, you've seen their faces now, Yummy Mummy and Fruit Brew, you might not know. But they were around, I think, in the 80s or so. And, uh, yeah, they were more fruity flavors, like more like... Um, um, fruity Pebbles? Fruity Pebbles or... Uh, what's the Toucan one? Fruit Loops. Fruit oh, Loops. Yeah. yeah, both of them were similar to that, from what I understand. I never had it myself. But there is a little story. Oh. So, let's get to... Once Upon a Time. Once Upon a Time. Not much of a story, really. It's more of an object of the game. <laughs> In this game, you try to eat as much of your cereal as possible by playing cards into your bowl. At the end of three hands, the monster who has eaten the most wins. That's all there is to that. All right. It's a battle to the finish. It's a bottom of the bowl to the death. So we have our little cards here. We've already... Uh, <clears throat> Passed out 12 each for our hand. There should be enough in each of our piles for three hands. Okay. 12 cards each hand. All right. Um, so <coughs> basically, what, <clears throat> basically what we're trying to do here is we're trying to get as much of these cards in our bowls before one of us passes or one of us runs out of cards in our hand um, so we can score them at the end of the game. Because um, whatever you're left with in your hand, when somebody runs out or passes, uh, gets discarded. So, don't want that to happen. You want to try to get all these guys in your hand, mm -hmm. in your bowl, to count for the end of the game. That's what we want. Alright, we got our little powers here. That's what these are. Uh, each of us have some hidden powers we can use at any moment. Well, it tells you when to use them on the cards. Mm -hmm. Which are pretty cool. You want to show off one of those? Actually, you show off one of those and one of his. Yeah. They're pretty neat. Got our milk cartons to multiply, uh, I guess multiply or add to our mm -hmm. our cards that we put in our uh, cereal dish here. So 
so let's get this thing going. Alrighty. So I'll start out. What time is it? Huh? What time is it? Oh yeah, what time is it? It's time. To grab our signs. To grab our signs. <laughs> it's game time. <laughs> Alright, I'll I get to start first because I ate cereal the 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 soonest? The most recently? Most recently. Yeah. I'm gonna start out low. I'm gonna start out real low. So do, can I play one that's equal to? Or it has to be higher. It has to be higher. higher. All right. Boom. Three. Come at me. Playing conservatively here. So he has to yeah, play a higher card. Up there, did a little jumping. Ten. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna play this seven. Add some milk. Boop, 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 boop. Add a five. To make it twelve. Okay. Okay. Um. In that case. <laughs> I'm just going to go ahead and end this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to play a 12. Add some add milk. Add some milk. Play another 12. Okay. 24. Well, I can't beat that. So. So these are done? Mm, okay, so the ones in, your, in our hands go away. These go to a score pile, which you can just put right there. Don't confuse it with this pile. All right. <laughs> so now we get 12 more. Yeah. Good idea. Yep, 12 more. So we only play three hands. Um, remember, you got your powers here. You can use those yep. any time. Yep. Go ahead and put that in the box. So actually, why is this going back? It's one of my powers. Oh. It says before playing, place one card from your scoring pile back to the box and take a milk token. Is it your turn first again? Yeah, that's, that's, yeah. It's the person you passed. So yeah, it's the person you passed gets to go first. Okay. Boom. Come on, man. Mm. Thanks. Oh my god. Alright. I'll go ahead and spin my milk and play 20. Okay. I'm going to use my power. You may combine two cards with equal value this turn without spending a milk token. Oh, dang. Okay. 22. I will pass. Or at least 24. My bad. You're passing? Mm-hmm. Dang. So go ahead and grab a milk basil for passing. All right. Put these in the score. And then this should be 12 cards. The last one should be 12. All right. Let's double check. Probably count. What's here? What's this? That's his discard. Oh. Okay, it's the last hand. Alright. It goes quick. <laughs> it's a quick go game. Quick. Damn, we've been filming for six minutes, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, alright. I think it's 20 minutes if there's four players or something, probably. Because yeah. it can be up to five players. Oh. Alright, so <laughs> first person that passed goes first, correct? Yeah, so that'd be it. Thank you. 
Uno. Okay. Now I want some chalk. Count Chocula. All uh, right. We can't have it for another like four months. I'm sure Three somebody out there is hoarding it. Four. You don't want that stale ass Count Chocula. Maybe. From Maybe last I year? do. Yeah. Don't tell me how to live my life. <laughs> See what you're about, Steve. Don't tell me my business. Round, you guys ought to be blowing out your powers and shit. All right, I'm gonna use mine. Choose even or odd. I choose even or odd. Until the next round, players may only play cards of that type. Ooh. So, so that means do... for the rest of this round, yeah. you can only play odd. All right. But you didn't play yet, Steve. You gotta play your odd card. Nope. I did eight. Oh. Yeah. I screwed myself here. I'm also going to use my other power again for this round, which is combine two cards without using milk to equal number of cards. Hmm. So there's 22. Damn. All right, all right. I'm going to use my milk. Oh, they both have to be odd? Yeah, you can only use odd numbers. And it has to be higher. Yep. Crap. Because I can... Or is it the total amount has to be Yeah, odd. that's what I was going to say. Is it both the cards used have to be odd, or is it the total amount? It says... I guess the cards. Until the next round, players card. only play cards of that type. Okay. So, so they have to be odd number cards. So the total would be even, but the cards each would be odd. Right. Dang yeah. it. Yeah, it doesn't say the total, it says the cards have to be on. Well then, I guess I pass. Ha <laughs> I don't know. I didn't know. I'm just glad because... Why not? Okay. So did you, you score? Okay, that's the end of the game. Dang. That's how quick okay. that game goes. It's very, very quick. Um, now all we do is we count up... The, the numbers on the cards don't matter. Um... We just flip it over and just count however many cards we actually had in our scoring our scoring pile. Fifteen. Eighteen. You beat me. <laughs> 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 I beat Basil out of game. Out <laughs> of game. That's so quick. That was a that quick was game. A, I don't even know that what was to... was a fast one. That was like super That was fast. like a shot. That was, <laughs> like... that was faster than Fart. Yeah, that was much faster than Fart. Yeah. Actually, Fart ended up being pretty long. Yeah. yeah. Um, dang. I don't even... Okay, well. That's the end of uh, Monster Crunch. Yeah. This is probably going to be the one of the quickest episodes we've ever had. Yeah. Um, what are we at? Like 10 minutes? Mm, yep, 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> well done plus the intro. So. Dang, okay. Well, I mean, I don't know. Let's start that review because yeah. this is a half point. You won. I did win, so I can start the review. Um, so, I love the theming of this game. That's why I picked it up. I truly can vouch for that. I saw it in the store. I saw it at Target, and I was like, I gotta have that because it's it's the monsters. And look at the sparkly box. It's got sparkly words on it. It's great. The, the packaging is amazing. It's my favorite cereals of all time. I mean, the monster cereals are all... That, I, that's the only time, like, in the whole year I eat cereal, mm -hmm. usually, is when that's when they come around. Um, the artwork's super fun. Um, the, it looks like the old school boxes. If you look up the old... I'll put a little picture up of the old school boxes of those. 
And it looks like those. You can do a side by side. I put it over to the side so you can do a side by side. Oh, look at that. Fancy. Some technology. <clears throat> and so that's awesome. Um, a little milk. Everything reminds me of like the 70s, 80s, you know? Mm -hmm. um, that's great. But this game is so simple. Mm -hmm. It's like almost mind numbingly simple. <laughs> There's, like, very little strategy to it. It's basically, like, a souped-up version of Uno. Or, like, um, War. Actually, kind of a dumbed-down version of Uno. Yeah. War. I was thinking of War. But yeah, War, yeah. Because you War, you, like, flip your cards and yeah. see who yeah. has higher cards. That's basically like this. Yeah. yeah, with, you know, you have the added thing of the powers and all mm -hmm. that. Um, so it's, it's just super, super simple. I mean, if you want to just, you know, play a game real quick... This is the one to play real quick. <laughs> I've never played with more than two people, so maybe you know, I should try that out eventually. So, but yeah, that's what I gotta say about it for now. Um, I agree with a lot of what he said. I really like the box. I think that's that's great. That would have grabbed me too. Um, I also like you know the quality of the pieces in the game. I think they did a good job, like printing these and. Um, it seems to be, you know, pretty sturdy stuff. Uh, <clears throat> when it comes to, like, the actual play, I... It's just so simple. Like, I think even making it... Like, even making it so the numbers on the cards counted more than just the number of cards would make it more interesting. Just because, you know, like you could add it all up at the end and be like, oh man, you got more cards, but I was able to play higher you know, numbers. Yeah, you know, that's on what the cards. I thought the rules um, were before you said it was just the number of the cards. Yeah, so that's what it says. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and so I think that, that was just a missed opportunity, honestly. I mean, you could play I mean, house rules with it. Yeah, yeah that's <laughs> true. That's true. Um, and granted, I mean, it's not like they're really gearing this towards us, probably. Yeah, I mean, it, the, it's... it's um, I mean, nine and up. Yeah. yeah. That's so, probably a bit high, honestly. Yeah. I, mean, yeah. Yeah. I, I would say six-year-old, six yeah. yeah. If you know your numbers, you can play this. Yeah. Like, um, yeah. So that's kind of that's kind of how I feel about it. Yeah. So pawn-wise, I would give this guy... I think I'd still give it like a 3.5. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I'm going to give it a little bit higher. Yeah. Just because it is fun. It's super fun, quick, mm -hmm. simple. Um but not much to it yeah you know, so what do you think i was gonna give it a three um it just it's like and honestly the only reason it's getting that high from me is just like the quality of the pieces and the nostalgia <laughs> yeah. aspect of it um you know it uh yeah. outside of that it just i mean yeah the, if the production value of this game was any lower and it was like made up characters or something mm -hmm. this would be a two yeah two and yeah. a half yeah at max it's a bit of a gimmick yeah. yeah for sure for sure but yeah for me that's why it's getting a little higher because because of, mm -hmm. of the i have a huge nostalgia factor for it mm -hmm. um but still it was fun yeah. so so i do have to ask you guys does it make you feel like you're sitting on your living room floor on saturday morning eating a bowl <laughs> of cow chocolate or a blueberry does it make you feel no. like that? it doesn't make me feel like that but it makes me want to do it yeah yeah, yeah there right. you go yeah, yeah. So that, that counts for a little bit, at least. Yeah, that, yeah that's why that point five got put yeah, in there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> for me. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, so this could be the shortest um, half pint in the history of the Drunk Pawn. <laughs> but it's I'll a, do it. It's a, it's a baby pint. It's a yeah. quarter pint. It's a quarter pint. <laughs> it's a shot. <laughs> a shot. It's no, a this baby, one back. It's a little tiny thingy of milk. I don't yep. know what those are. Are those pints? A little milk carton? It's a carton of milk. <laughs> it's not even a pint. <laughs> It's a carton of milk. All right. Well, or that'll a bag do it. of milk if you live in Canada. Uh, oh, Lord. <laughs> or in Hebrew Heights, Ohio, because apparently You've... we're the only other people. If y'all drank bag milk when you were a kid, hit that subscribe button. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at if least you've ever lot. slapped bag of milk while walking through the store, <laughs> hit that subscribe button. Uh, did you have bag milk in elementary school? No, okay. but I went to Canada and I slapped bags of milk in the store. See? It's real life. Mm -hmm. Anyways, we'll see you next time here on the Drunk Upon. If, of course, as always, if you like what you saw today, subscribe, like, comment, Spoon, all that good stuff. Subscribe. Spoon it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, 
yeah, um, hit that alert bell because it'll tell you what we're doing mm -hmm. on a weekly basis. Because weekly basis, we usually put up a, another uh, episode, at mm -hmm. least one. Um, so keep an eye out for that. Yep. And we'll see you here on the Drunk Pond next time. At the table.